It's one of the only uh, stone keeps in the middle of a, a city centre and one that's surviving from uh, the industrial uh, age as well. Newcastle Castle being in the city centre has a real opportunity to put a vibrancy back into Newcastle. It's where Newcastle was born. I love it because it was that childhood dream to be able to work in a castle. It's a great reminder of Newcastle's history. It's very different from other industrial cities in Britain. It's a kind of reminder that Newcastle actually has this huge long history um, stretching all the way back to Hadrian's Wall um, and the Roman fort on Newcastle, as well as being one of the wealthiest major towns in medieval England. We've got a uh, pretty much intact, I mean, one of the most intact 12th century keeps uh, still standing anywhere in the country for you to explore. The castle is what it was all about, you know, that's where the name of the town comes from. It's not just the medieval history uh, that we have here. Um, almost every major point in British history has something to do with this site. You've got the English Civil War tied into here because in this room that I'm standing in, there is graffiti marked on the wall of two soldiers who served here. It's just their names and that's all that we have of them. You'd be surprised at what you can find connected to this place if you really go looking for it. I think we're quite unique in, in the city centre, obviously being the oldest building in Newcastle, but secondly, because we use it not just as a, your typical visitor attraction during the day, we make sure that people get access through th things like film nights and theatre shows, gigs, uh, ghost talks, that kind of thing. I would say what makes it special are the relationship of the staff and the visitors if are made to feel really welcome and warm. We'll do bespoke tours and workshops for them. We're perched right up on a hill or bank, if you like. Even when you're at ground level, you get sort of fantastic views of, of Newcastle. To me, it's Newcastle and microcosm, and that's why it's so special. When I go into the rooms, I can imagine all the kings and queens that lived here. And on the roof, it has an amazing view, so I love looking out over Newcastle takes me back to the battles and like how they would have fought and how they would have defended the castle and the most interesting was the cannonballs and the way the weapons that they used when invading. I've been coming to Newcastle Castle since I was a kid and every time I come here I always find something new. People often forget of what like a great heritage site that this is. I think one of the reasons that I really like coming here is because it's so quiet in a way, obviously you've got the hustle and bustle of the street outside, but when you come in here it is literally just like stepping back in time. Without this castle there would be no Newcastle. It should be the place that people see as the iconic landmark where their region developed from and they should take pride in having such a unique resource and historical resource here and here for the future.